What's good YouTube, NGS back again for another episode of VEDA. VEDA stands for Vlog Every Day in April and we are on day six. Normally I would, you know, use my other hand because yes, I do have a second hand. But uh, this hand is actually recording the video with, well actually it's not recording the video with, it's actually holding the camera with, why can't I ever get these things right, I don't know. But seeing as how it's a really awesome day outside, if you guys can uh, see, look at that. It's pretty great, definitely better spring weather than the past couple of weeks. I decided to, I guess, get on camera and do one in the outdoors. Outdoors, outdoors. Well, it's more indoors, indoors, but you catch my gist. So, yeah, man, weather's been pretty good. Can't really complain. And by me saying that, it's going to turn to like 30 degrees raining constantly. You always know how it is. Let me just make sure this guy is in uh, focus. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot better. Uh, so I'm feeling a lot better compared to uh, yesterday after the uh, Easter-itis slump squad, man, that shit was crazy. Like, to put it into perspective for you guys, from 4 p.m. when I had the dinner up until basically when I went to bed, it was, it was bad. I was feeling really, like, lethargic, not wanting to do anything, no productivity whatsoever. But I'm feeling a lot better today, got a good workout in at the gym, ate a lot of good food, so back to 100%. Um, but this VEDA video in particular is going to be another unboxing video. Yes, I know, because you guys weren't tired about the last one I did. Um, I did get something in the mail from a very good friend of mine, Dante86. So, we are going to unpackage it live here on camera. Um, how is this going to work? Because I don't have a tripod that's as tall as me, and crap, I probably should have planned this out beforehand, but... Whatever, man, it's Vado. We're going to wing it. So, <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can... Nope. That doesn't work whatsoever. Uh, but either way, this illustrates how tall I am. Yes, I am six foot four. <clears throat> but uh, let's get on to unboxing this thing right here. I already know the contents of the uh, package, but, you know, it, it's something that's pretty funny to show on camera. So, again, do not have a box cutter or my Batman knife, so we are just going to wing it, rip the box open. And yes, I'm one of those dudes who legit just rips the box open. I don't, you know, peel apart the tape, nothing. Nah, man. Just dive right in. <sighs> okay, so... <laughs> wow, man. I, I did not expect it to be this big. In before someone says, Oh, that's what she said. Okay. So, first off, what we have here is a, oh my god, how big is this box? This is a pound and a half of Mike and Ike Sours. You guys know I love my sour candy. Dante86 knows I love my sour candy. He actually likes sour candy too. And um, this was actually in one of the stores that I think is only in the South or in Texas. I mean, I do not know. It's called Tuesday Morning, and he found this in the clearance section. They were clearing it off. It was like, uh, let me see if I can focus there. Yeah, it was like $12.99, but apparently he got it for like mad cheap. So yeah, this is a giant box of Mike and Ike's. Uh, it's not actually comically this big, like the boxes aren't that, the I, uh, candy isn't that big. It's a couple of um, smaller bags in here, like just to uh, uh, 14 servings per package. So does that mean there are 14 of them in here? Let me just uh, open it up to illustrate the point. Yeah, so it's just the uh, standard size Mike and Ike's, which is insanely cool because I freaking love these and they're kind of hard to find. Like the only place I've ever found these guys was at my college campus. And other than that, they're really rare for whatever reason. So yeah, man, a comically sized box of Mike and Ike's. Just to put it into perspective, to my head, <laughs> yeah, man, Mike and Ike's. So, uh, next up, what the, yo, I didn't expect this. Okay, I thought there was only going to be two things in this package, but nah, man. Okay, first and foremost, what we have here is a Spider-Man tank. You guys know I'm a giant Spider-Man fanboy, and I've actually started collecting more Spider-Man merchandise, like... I have a Spider-Man jersey, a football jersey, and now I have a Spider-Man basketball jersey. So, 
that is pretty dope if I don't say so myself. And what's really cool about this is I literally just noticed this on my jersey a couple days ago. The numbers here are 62 and 62 is the, of course you guys know the year Spider-Man debuted. Uh, so yeah, man, <laughs> that's uh, pretty awesome. So Spider-Man basketball jersey, I got a football jersey. I gotta think about what else do I need. Probably not a Speedo, not going that route, but yeah. <laughs> And this thing I did not even expect. Uh, I don't even remember him talking about this. This is a, if I'm pronouncing this right, NECA Scaler. And it's a Rocket Raccoon. So that's uh, pretty freaking cool. I didn't expect to uh, get this. Apparently this is something you just hook onto something and it latches and just stays there. So it's pretty cool. Like on the back they have ones for like Iron Man and Spider-Man on there. So you know me, I'm going to have to collect the Spider-Man one. But yeah, man, that is insanely awesome. Uh, let me just put this back up here. Done to 86. I really appreciate this care package, man. Insanely cool. I did not expect that Rocket Raccoon thing. Rocket Raccoon is awesome, so that makes it even more better. Even more better. I, I know every video I'm screwing up my damn grammar, man. <sighs> but yeah, man, so the Rocket Raccoon NECA scaler. We got the Spider-Man basketball jersey. And... A giant box of sour Mike and Ike's. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I'm NGS signing out. Hope you all have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.